Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. First off, I want to say sorry I ain't got a top on, but all the windows are closed, so you hear no outside noise around my house that is surrounded by a jungle, and it's the middle of the day, so it's very hot. So yeah, if you're offended, well, you just have to be offended. So now onto the topic of the video. And the topic is why I do not eat good old steak on a carnivore diet, which you may be thinking, what the hell? Like most people on a carnivore diet, especially people that have been doing it for a while, normally end up finding from their own personal experience that steak is their favorite food and more specifically meat on the carnivore diet. But that is not true for me. And yeah, I know that Sean Baker, who's an MD, that brought out the carnivore diet book and he's one of the carnivore advocate people out there that promotes it like crazy. One of his staples is steak. My girlfriend's staple meat is normally steak. Michaela Peterson and Jordan Peterson and so many other different people out there just seem to eat steak time and time again because they say that they enjoy the taste and they feel really amazing from it. But there's a couple of reasons why I do not eat it. It's not that I do not like the taste of it in any way, shape or form, because it does taste really good to me. My favorite steak to eat is a pasture-raised, antibiotic-free, hormone-free ribeye steak, which I get from a company in Thailand. If you wanna check out this company for the highest quality meats, there'll be links down below. They can deliver to your door. And yeah, it's just so, so tasty, and it's very, very nutrient-rich. But when I first tried out steak after being vegan for around six years and quitting that diet, if you didn't see that video where I ate it for the first time and my girlfriend ate it for the first time where she'd not had it for almost 25 years, beef as a whole that is, then click the link to view that video now. So when I first tried it out, I just found that afterwards I felt very, very sleepy and just very heavy in my body. And I had to just rest for about four hours and then my energy levels went back up. So that is the number one reason as to why. When I eat beef mince that is pasture raised, this does not happen to me whatsoever. I just feel really, really amazing from it. So yeah, that is <laughs> the number one reason as to why. Why would I keep eating something if it's not making my energy levels feel that good? And I tried so many different times to eat steak and see if this issue would go away, but it never did for me. And to be honest, it actually ends up saving me a lot of money because the beef mints actually cost a lot less than the steak, which is a really great additional thing that I got from not eating steak anymore. And yeah, I will definitely try and experiment with it in the future, but for now, I just don't even feel drawn to it in any way, shape or form. I just love making homemade beef patties that I just put salt and pepper on after eating. I did recently a What I Eat In A Day Carnival Diet video, which is the first that I've ever created and uploaded to this channel, and I ate them in that video. If you haven't seen it, click the link up above. And what you need to remember is, for me, when I was growing up and before I gave up meat and switched to a vegan diet, what was my favorite food? Burgers, but obviously, Things like McDonald's burgers and Burger King burgers that has all the gluten bun added to it and all of the sugar-filled sauce and MSG and all the other garbage. But when I started eating animal foods again, I was just like, oh, I just want to have carnivore-style beef burgers. So just having the beef patties, like I said, with unrefined sea salt and ground black pepper. So for me and my own personal experience, I just have an amazing association with that specific food because burgers used to be one of my favorite foods. And I find that I just get really, really on with it so well. It makes me feel so amazing as I mentioned a moment ago. And then there is another thing that you need to be aware of. And this is just a side issue. So when I was on a vegan diet, it destroyed my teeth. Caused so many cavities, I had to have a tooth removed because that shattered. I think I ate some rice or something and it had a little stone in it. It shattered my tooth completely because that malnourishing vegan diet wasn't giving my teeth all the essential nutrients that it needed for my teeth to be as strong as possible. So by having that tooth removed, 
and having it removed for quite a while, what has happened is these teeth here and here have started to slightly push in where the gap is. So I have space in between my teeth that is not the most ideal spacing for me to have in between my teeth. And when I got the tooth removed, no doctor said that that would happen over a period of time. I didn't know that. I never had a tooth removed. I never even thought about it. But it actually just happened over a period of time. So when I eat steak, which you need to chew quite a lot, and that I find is just tougher to eat than ground beef mince, guess what happens after a short while of eating it? It gets stuck all in between these teeth, and within a short while, it is making my gums throb because it fills up with so much of the steak in parts and pushes up and up and up and up. So when I'm chewing, it's then pushing it more and more. And yes, I could just use my dental tool that I have that gets it out, but guess what happens? It just does it again and again and again. And what I would normally do in the past when I was eating steak, I'd eat on the left side, but it just doesn't feel good just to eat on one side for me and my own personal experience. And it just makes the whole experience of having a steak very, very uncomfortable. So yeah, this wasn't the thing that made me think, no, I'm not gonna eat it again. If it was affecting me in a really good way, I'd probably still be eating it now. But to be honest, when I take into consideration the other aspect where it's hurting my gums, it's just like, that really doesn't make me feel drawn to go back to eating steak for that reason. And I have, thought about getting an implant in my tooth. But first, I would need to get some sort of braces to actually pull the teeth backwards first, which I don't want metal braces. You can get braces to go on the inside of your mouth, but there seems to be pros and cons of every type of braces out there. But maybe I'll get that done in the future, who knows? I have some invisible braces, but yeah, I don't like wearing them, to be honest with you. And then, yeah, once that's done, then I could get an implant. But the issue with an implant, even when they're cleaning it properly, even if they give you antibiotics and have everything sterile, every time what happens when they put the implant in, it traps all bad bacteria that you don't want in there and it affects your health in a massively negative way. And I remember coaching someone years ago that had had like these types of teeth removed and then they got them tested and their health was really, really bad. And then when they got it tested, it showed there was so much bad bacteria in there and they'd had it done by a really reputable good dentist that followed all of the safety procedure and made sure everything was sterile and so on. So it's like, yeah, I have to spend loads of money to get them straightened and then get that put in, the implant, and it could really have a negative effect on my health. So it's like, mm, I was gonna start going ahead with that at one point, but then after learning all of this, I was like, yeah, I just don't know if it's the best idea. So yeah, if you have any advice of anything else that I could do with that, then let me know down below. I will keep trying to look out for some alternatives. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just where I'm at. So yeah, it's really as simple as that. And I'd like to know from your own personal experience, do you find the steak doesn't make you feel the best? Do you not eat it on a carnivore diet or even some sort of meat-based diet? Or is it your favorite food? If so, why? Let us know down below. Or if there's any other meats that you don't get on with, let me know. I don't get on well with pork. I've tried it so many different times now, pasture raised, and I just don't get on with it. If you want me to make a video talking about that in full detail from my own personal experience, then just let me know down below and I can talk about that with you. So that's it from me and this video. If you like the video, like it down below, leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So yeah, enjoy your day, make the most of it, and catch you on the flip side. Peace.